Hello everybody and welcome back to Danzy Minecraft Universe. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my pedestrian crossing with traffic lights. So this is a quick tutorial. Uh, I use this design. This is my default design that I use on my world now. Um, it's the same whether you do dual carriageway, single carriageway. The lights are always the same. Just a few uh, road markings are going to differ, that's all. But this one is for the dual carriageway. Like I say, the only difference with doing a dual carriageway to a single carriageway, you literally would just cut all of this centerpiece out there and just have that side just here. So that's the only difference. So this is what I'm going to be showing you how to make. Right, and what I'm going to do quickly, just run through the bricks that we're going to need. We've just got some um, grey wool. We've got a stone slab, stand, sandstone slab, grass block, stone block, dark oak fence, block of gold, some chiseled quartz, item frame, dropper, a pane of glass, block of redstone, emerald, a creeper head. I bet you're all thinking, what? Uh, a little grey button and some light grey wool. Okay, what I'm going to do, or what I have done, I've already laid out the road here. Just saves me having to do it. Now, just for reference, I've made it 21 across. And then each side is 13. With a 5 gap. And then we've got another 13 there. Then directly in the middle... On the 11th block, I've just put a, a gold block there just for reference for myself. And then the same here. So when you get to the 7th block, I've just put another piece of gold. So we've got 6 each side. Okay, what I'm going to do first, we're going to use the st uh, stone slab and make the pavement. So we'll start from there. We'll have a quick drink of special brew to speed things up. And then we're just going to go all along and we're going to make five lines of pavement like so now obviously you, you do your pavements wherever you want this is just how I do mine most of my pavements in my world are always five across generally and then what we're going to do directly in the middle in line with the gold uh, block is just take out so we've taken out three across so that's what we've got left with and we're going to go with a stone slab do three there three there and three there and then with this one we'll go one up and connect it to the pavement so we've got three across there just like that the reason I do that is because um, in Britain, uh, where our pedestrian crossings uh, are, we always have a drop curb. So that's the way I like to do it and just highlight it using a different colour. And then what we're going to do here is we can get rid of that now. Oh. Do three lines directly in the middle of the sands, uh, sandstone. So then it's directly the same as that now what we're going to do again same again fill in the pavement with the stones stone slab five across and then once we've finished doing this we can again take out the middle three so we've got the middle, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got this sandstone, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then join those up there. Okay, there we go. Now what we're going to do in the middle, just pop one at the end there. So it's not on the road, it's just again the side of the road. Then we'll go up to the sandstone. 
So we're just outlining and we'll leave the three gap there and we'll do exactly the same on the other side. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Then what I'm going to do is just fill these in with grass. So there we go, we've got that layout now. And what we're going to do now, we're going to start pruning the traffic lights. So using the stone, crack a hole there so it's two in from the, pipe, uh, the sandstone and then two down. So there we go, and we'll stick a block of stone there. And we'll go across the road and then this very corner, we'll stick another one in there. Then we'll turn around and this side will be exactly the same. One in that corner. And then two across, another one in. Stick one there. Then we'll go dark oak fence. We'll go one. Block of gold. One. Dark oak fence. One, two, three, four. So that's one dark oak, gold, and then four dark oak. Then onto the chisel quartz. We'll go one, two, and three. There we go. And we'll do exactly the same on every one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Same again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, last one. One, 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 two, three, four. And then one, two, three. There we go, so far so good. What we're gonna do now, take our glass pane, and then I use these for railings on the side of the road. So we'll go all the way across another quick drink same from there we'll leave the gap and then we'll do the same here all the way to there and then here just leave a gap there and we do it all the way across and then we'll do the same leave a gap all the way down and then same again on this side of the road okay there we go so far so good now what I'm going to do is take my button my light grey wool and then the buttons going from this block here we'll just go all the way across and same again. And same here. How's that? Looking good, looking good. Right, now what we'll do with our wall, first of all, going one block in, so we've got a gap of one. We'll take that line out. And then we'll fill it in with the wall, like so. And then in the middle, I'll just go one, two, three. There we go. And then here, we'll go one, two. So we'll leave a gap of one. And put one in there. One, two, three. So we've got four. And then we'll go one, leave a gap, one, leave a gap, one. Same on the other side. And what we'll do, exactly the same on this side, but obviously that line will be this side. So leave a gap of one, take out the middle line, and then fill it all in. <coughs> and then here, we'll go one, two, three, four. 
So it's the same as that side. And then here, again, leave a gap. One. There we go. And then this one, one, two, three. As looking good. Now what we're going to do, take the item frame, block of emerald, block of redstone, uh, we need the creeper head, there we go. What we're going to do, we're going to stick an item frame on there, and then we're going to stick one of those at the top over to this side, stick an item frame there, come back round this side, stick another one up there. Now what we're going to do, use a block of redstone, put one in there, and one in there, that means the traffic lights are at a stop. So that means, put an item frame there, item frame there, creep head, creep head. So that means the traffic lights have been stopped and the creep ahead means you can walk. Now what we'll do, we'll go over to this side. Again, item frame. Now this time the item frame is going to be on the bottom block. Another one on the yellow one. So we've got them on all the yellow ones. And then we use the block of emerald. There we go. I like using the emerald because it looks like it's lit up. You've got that lovely soft glow which looks like a nice green light to go. So that's why I use that one. Now that means that you can't walk. So we'll stick an item frame at the top. And at the top there, block of redstone. Block of redstone. There we go. That means you can't walk. So when the lights are on go, you can't walk. But when the lights are on stop, you can walk. How's that? Last thing, get your dropper. Stick one in there. One in there. One in there one in there and they look like the buttons to press to cross the road so there we have it the pedestrian crossing all done very very quick very simple hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again soon for another downs in minecraft universe see you soon bye